Hey everybody, this is Lucas from Global Trucks in Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Western Canada's leading provider of construction, geomatics, and materials testing equipment. Today I got a video here showing you guys Mantis Vision F6 handheld laser scanner, the quickest and easiest scanning device that can scan complex scenes within seconds without having to set up a tripod or set down your device at all. I'm going to open up the Echo app first here. It's an advanced and easy to use integrated software with high end features such as advanced scanning modes with real time feedback, powerful 3D data editing tools, quality data for control distances and measurement, advanced meshing with full color projection, and much more. Um, as soon as I open the app here, you'll be able to see that real time feedback. You can see the point cloud in real time as I'm scanning. Um, you'll notice here I'm actually putting it at a wall. So I'm going to go and correct it and color balance that by clicking the button on the bottom right there. Now that's going to correct it to my white um, color, meaning when I go back to my scan, you'll be able to see the actual true colors um, that it is in real life. Um, next, if I click on the rendering and change the camera distance, um, I could alter the size of my scan in real time, meaning this can help you adjust it depending on if you're doing a large room, a large area, or you're simply just doing a small uh, little object as well. The F6 is a one button start, I meaning I just click it once and it starts my scan. You can see it building here in real time. Um, I sped up the video a little bit to make it a little quicker for you. Um, but you can see me go around the whole scene in total, that was about 40 seconds. Um, in that 40 seconds, I can go up and open it, and you can see my entire scan completed right in front of you, um, just simply in less than a minute. Here you can go back and recreate how you did your scan to see if you missed any points or missed any areas of interest that you were planning on getting before. Um, after this, you'll notice my scan, I got some couple points that I don't want, so I can use my selection tools here to quickly select it out and delete anything that's not an area of interest for me. The first thing you want to do after every single scan is perform your HQ registration, which is an algorithm layer that's going to correct any misalignment that occurred during the scanning decoding process. Now you can see my HQ registration and help out my scan a little bit. It's looking pretty clean. Um, after your HQ registration, always do the global registration, which is going to help clean it up even further. You will notice I have some uh, black points that are kind of sitting off in space. That's some spray from my scan, so I'm going to denoise that. And what the denoise is going to do is going to remove any sparse statistical outliers that distort the point cloud that happens when you do some 3D scanning. Um, this denoising process will take a little bit, so I'll skip forward. You can see it took about a little bit over 20 minutes there. Now you'll notice I have an extremely clean scan that was scanned in less than 40 seconds, processed in under 25 minutes, um, all done on my laptop here, actually right at the field site. So after I save my scan here, you can actually see me plug in my F6 short range scanner. Um, time is sped up a little bit, but I do the exact same thing uh, where I color balance it and I change the uh, camera distance as well to get a view of my object. Um, you can see I'm doing a scan here of this dummy gauge. Um, it's in much, much greater detail and at a much uh, shorter range. You'll notice after I did my scan here, there was some misalignment. There's three bars on that dummy gauge when there should be only two. This basically means that one of the frames from my scan basically ended up out of place. What I'm going to do is that HQ registration is made exactly for that. It singles out that frame. I'm just going to delete it to get it out of my image. And now I just have my single group um, that is, you know, a more accurate representation of my dummy gauge. Again, you can recreate what your scan did in real time here, um, both highlighting in the cumulative form or just seeing it as a total. I am then going to do the global registration immediately after my HQ registration again to clean up even farther. Um, and then again, I have those uh, black points that are kind of sitting out space. I'm going to denoise that immediately, and you can see I passed some time along there, um, about 10 minutes, and now you can see how clean uh, my image is and that great detail that you get from that short range scanner. Now you also see me creating a spawn of this dummy gauge. This is more just to show you what a mesh model will look like created from um, that scan. So within 10 minutes, I scanned this dummy gauge, edited it on my laptop, and created a mesh model. Um, and this is the final mesh model here, and I can adjust all the light settings if I wanted to afterwards. Um, you can kind of see how great a detail that is. So 
So next I'm going to open up my original scan I did with the F6 long range scanner. What I want to do now is bring in that really detailed scan of the dummy gauge that I did with the short range scanner and align it together with the dummy gauge that is in the uh, total environment here and then I'll bring that together, align it, um, and then you'll have uh, the best of both worlds where you have a really great um, full scan of an entire room as well as a really high quality imaging of your specific areas that you desire. So now you can see I click on the little pencil icon next to that scan and I can manipulate it in a 3D space and I can bring it as close together as possible as I can with the original um, scan there. Once I do that I'm going to merge the groups together first. Um, that's going to align all the frames together and then I'm going to do my global registration. What that's going to do is it's going to do its best to acknowledge which parts of which scan belong together. Um, and so it's going to bring that dummy gauge together and creating a very, very clean image which you can see here um, how much higher detail that is now. Next I'm going to show you guys some of the measuring tools that are built into the Echo app. You can see I can measure distances and lines uh, directly from the app here. So I can click on a 3D point, click on another point, and it's automatically going to display what its value is in the top there. I can change it to millimeters or inches. So you can see I have about a 60 inch wall there um, and it's already labeled and whatnot. And then I can do that multiple times um, throughout my scan. After I measure everything I want, I can export it as either a CSV or a PDF. Um, so I'm just going to export it as a PDF here. Um, and now if I go and open that, you can see it has an image of my scan with all the measurements in there, as well as all the line measurements um, on top. Next, I'm going to show you the uh, text labeling feature. Um, so I can actually click on certain, say, pieces of evidence or pieces of um, things that I desire and actually name them in my scan. And I can do something similar where I export it as a PDF. Um, you'll have an image of it and then you'll actually have all the annotated um, images. Lastly, I'll show you if you click on that 2D bar on the top, you can actually see um, what the camera sees when you're scanning. Um, so this will actually take your mesh together as well and join the two videos together. Um, and so when I do this, you can actually see on the bottom there, one's a darker blue, the other's a lighter blue um, for the timeline on that video. And one is for that certain mesh that I brought in at the second point there at that short range laser scanner. Um, and then I can actually export this video out as an MP4, you can see here. I'm going to export that MP4 out and I can play it in a video player um, so I can slow that down to whatever speed I desire.